Uh, so the the charges are are still hanging over my head, um, and they're still investigating, reviewing tape. So I, but because of all the money my supporters have raised for me, uh, you know, I've got a really great defense team. And if they decide to press forward with charges, I am, am more than willing to engage them in a court of law and prove myself innocent because I acted purely in self-defense and in the protection of my fellow Trump supporters. Yeah, I've seen that clip once or twice. W could you describe to me exactly what happened? Well, I mean, it, from what you see, I mean, we were we peacefully assembled on one side of the park uh, to to exercise our freedom of assembly and our, our First Amendment free, free speech rights. Um, and the Antifa groups, these neo-Marxist domestic terrorist groups, came assembled on their side of the park. They had us outnumbered three to one. They came over, started agitating. They all started to mask up. And once they masked up, we I knew what time it was. And uh, I was maced three times. Um, I was similarly dressed like this before I was maced. That's when I donned the helmet, the respirator, and the goggles. And then I went into defense of myself and our fellow Trump supporters. How does it feel to be a living meme? <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, man. It hasn't quite set in yet. Um, it's, it's cool. It, you know, what, it, what it's really about, and I, I don't really get off on any kind of celebrity or anything like that. What it's really about is my meme has become a symbol for freedom. Uh, a symbol for the dangers of neo-Marxism and the necessity of the right and freedom-loving people, not just here in the United States, but across the world, to push back against this demonic ideology. They embrace an ideology that led to the death of 200 million people around the world. There, there simply isn't a worse ideology that the, that the world has ever seen than communism. It's the most destructive, demonic, form of uh, uh, belief system that there is. Finally, is there one piece of legislature, if you could write it up and pass it right now, what would it be? <sighs> piece of legislature. I would, uh, I think one of the most important things to do is get rid of NAFTA. Okay. The shit can it. Get rid of it and renegotiate trade deals on an individual base basis with all those countries. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take it back. Okay. The most important legislation, for not only for the freedom of this country, but for the freedom of countries around the world, is to get rid of the central banks. The Federal Reserve has got to go. These, these bankers, these banking cartels that uh, dictate our country's monetary policies, are, they're vultures. And they, they institute monetary policies that are advantageous to them and not to the people that they supposedly represent. And, and these people are neither federal and there's no reserve. This, make no mistake about it, this is a private, for-profit banking cartel. It's one of the most powerful in the world. Let's get rid of these guys. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Yeah, Bay Stickman here, guys. Y'all come out to Berkeley April 15th, 12 p.m. at MLK Park. We're having another Freedom Rally. It's going to be great. Berkeley 3.0. Hope to see you there.